neutral, and then all of a sudden, like, you're at kill percent with fair. Well, yeah. I mean, they did nerf fair, but off stage, yeah, you're dead for sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have a snake and a peach main. These, I, I tend to struggle uh, when I play peach in sword and zoner matchups just because it's, it's uh, easy to get trapped up in your movement if you're, oh, my God, he pulled a stitch the first one in the game. You know, uh, you can't call yourself a Peach main until you have just abused the RNG in your favor. How, did I, how does it happen, guys? Oh, oh the custom Peach combos using the bear for the grab. That was really cool, how he used that uh, weak hitbox to set him on the other side of him and to lead to more damage. Uh, oh, wow, yeah. Oh, oh, he manages to get him uh, away from the ledge. Yeah, so Razo... Uh, a lot of experience with this character, so he's, he's able to pressure uh, Snake very well, uh, just using his floats and these super fast aerials. Yeah. And when he gets in, he's going to be doing some huge damage. Oh yeah. But Peach's speed is not her strong suit, but she has uh, amazing movement options and some super strong combos. I mean, she may not be fast, but she has such good micro spacing and good like aerial movement that like. Just because it isn't fast doesn't mean that like it's not good, you know. Like it's it's fast enough where like it's just so tricky that she can just like cross you up so easily. All right, yeah, and, and Razo actually uh, messing up a little bit there. He got the weak nair hitbox, uh, but uh, Supa did not punish. Right. Ooh, I like that. You know, using the the peach bomber to kind of prank with Nikiki, the Nikita, and so kind of able to avoid it all together. Okay. okay. Yeah, gonna fall for that up tilt. <laughs> that Sorry. was kind of a confusing uh, set of options there. He threw out the Nikita up, then let it there, and then he just ran up and up tilted. Like, because right. I feel like he he threw that option as a bait to force Razo to like kind of approach, and knowing that the up tilt will come out in time to interrupt uh, Peach before she can fair. Yeah. Pretty next level there plays from that one guy. I'm I'm reading it as Super because that's what he put his name, but. Right. That one guy is, is his tag, I guess. Right. You know what? That okay. one guy is just really doing good well against Peach so far. Yeah, I like these. I don't know if he's doing it intentionally, but how he's ducking under these uh, down airs. Right. Um, keeps throwing out moves, though. He could e easily punish them afterwards the way he ducks because there's not any shield stun. Right. I mean, what you see a lot from him is that he likes to throw down the, the C4 and then just blow it up immediately. And I feel like he's getting punished for that a lot. Yeah, C4 very strong, but yeah. uh, I think uh, how you use it is definitely shows your salt as a snake main. Right. And I don't that mean, mean that in the salty sense. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so... Razo just landing on that C4, having no fear. No, all that drift back, you know, they, they said that they gave that more end lag. Like, it doesn't even matter. Like, no. like you can just drift so far away that, like, you can't get a punish off of it regardless. You know? Yeah, you, you need, like, to have a big sword if you want to punish that. And Snake's not that fast of a character, and his hitbox, he doesn't have a, really abil a lot of ability to chase you uh, with any of his you know, forward hitboxes. All right. But, you know, getting that parry to up tail, you know, cleaning out that stock super early, like at 100%. So, yet again, you know, only at 65, but Snake is heavy. He can live to like 160, 180% and then get that rage too. Okay, we're seeing some more grenade play from that one guy, uh, but it might be too little too late at this point. Ooh, wow, the That's down air cool. actually tripped him, so he was able to get a, an extended combo off of that with the port for the down tilt. Yeah, that's right. Those trips, you never know where they're when they're going to strike, but you, you've always got to be ready because you can get a, some big extensions off of them. And yet again, you can see that one guy just trying to be super careful on how he approaches the matchup because he knows that any one fair, any one straight aerial could be the last stock for him. And there we go. There's the Nair landing on top of him. Wow, did you gonna... see that? Razos just snuck that in there between the, the dare, hit, the hits of dare there. Very impressive. You know what? That's just one of the unfortunate things about you know Snake is that he has really hard time landing. So 
if you can just draw an aerial like as soon as he lands or like right before he lands, you know, you are pretty set to just continue keeping juggling snake. Okay, interesting choice. Um, yeah, I was about to say, I think this, well, I, I, that's right, character switch, switch and stage selectors are, are messed up. I think the stage is actually banned because it uh, has a no Z access. Or right. it's it's not a it's like a flat stage like flat zone. Right, and it, um. it does affect like certain like spot dodge like animations. It's weird. Uh, yeah, I I always thought it would be interesting to have as a counter pick for some of these stages, but uh, oh, that's gonna be some damage. And yet again, you know what? All these hits are just gonna combo and flow into each other, and that's. Basically, what Peach does, he just hits you off of like one straight hit, and it just leads into like a million more. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but Snake, uh, he can live for a while, and Peach, uh, Peach is, if Peach is killing you early, it's usually going to be off some kind of an edge guard. So uh, because Snake has a pretty good recovery, you know, you can afford to take some of these combos early on. Right. I mean, like, it doesn't matter if you can take it. If you can't dish it out, the damage as well. Like, when you see right there, Razo only managed to, like, land 22% on himself. So, like, you can tell that Razo's playing the matchup a lot better than uh, that one guy can. Oh, uh, that's for sure. And gets the parry off of that forward air, gets the up tilt, and uh, this is a chance to really make a comeback. Okay. But you know Rots are going for an interesting punish there. Did you notice that? Mm. He, threw, he threw out the toad because he thought uh, that one guy was going, just going to immediately blow up the C4 like he has all those other times. All right. Or maybe even go for an up tilt because I feel like an up, that would be like up tilt range. But oh, yeah, yeah, that again, that up beat goes through the Nikita too. Now it's such a good move. No, I feel like Peach is just one of those characters that's just like, I don't care if you have Nikita, I'll just uh, float like around it, above it, past it. It doesn't matter where you throw it, because I will get around it. Yeah, I think uh, Razo showing it, uh, his uh, ability as Peach main because he know he knows how to get around the Nikita, which is uh, well. I think you said like players like MVD are who have just sort of researched or or labbed out this Nikita just have the ability to chase you wherever you're going right. um, so you really need to know how to use it if you want to chase peach around because she has so many options off stage with her side b with her float with her extra jump right. and yet again sneaking in an up tilt right there you know what only at 20 percent though this is very doable for that one guy to po possibly make this comeback that's right snake can live for a while so he definitely has that comeback potential Uh, Razo is just oppressive here with his aerials and all of his float cancels. Ooh, and I like that he delayed uh, blowing up that C4 just so that he can bait out the, the, the toad right there. Oh, well, that was a stitch right there again. I said we've seen two in this match. I'm trying not to freak out like oh, <laughs> oh. most commentators when you see it. Nice tag. Oh, Razo oh, wanted going for the finish with the side beat. Yeah. He, he wanted to just be like, I have the set, I have the read, you are dead. But you know what? He's at zero, and the other oh, guy's at 150%. Nice like, it, 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 he finds that bear or side B eventually. Yeah, but not killing quite, quite yet. Of course, that one guy is in a very bad spot right now. He's oh, at yeah. 176, but this is not the longest we've seen snakes live. Right. He's going to need to come up with something soon, though. I mean, he needs just like a fair off stage, you know. Uh, well, yeah, his ability to keep Razo out has uh, not been great. So he. Oh my God. Okay, I I thought that up smash like connected. And, and you it, thought that was the kill spot. <laughs> yeah, I thought like no, there's there's no way he just died to up smash at like 40. Maybe like some rage jank or something. Like like yeah. if that was forward <laughs> smash, I might believe it. But like up smash, <laughs> like no, that that is not a thing. But. No, no Razo, Razo once again sneaking one of those hitboxes in there. Yep. All right, okay, so we have uh, YMCA. YMCA coming up.